We've all had to get creative when it comes to adapting to life in the COVID-19 pandemic. A music teacher in Southwest Rochester is no exception. Remember garage bands from way back when? Her idea is sort of like that. With the help of photographer Chuck Sibley, we hope this makes you smile. All neighborhoods have their familiar sounds. Maybe it's a dog in the yard or a car pulling into the drive. Yeah, we found that the acoustics in the garage are actually quite amazing. And so <laughs> the cellos sound wonderful out here. It's got a big full sound. The home of Amy Crockett in summer 2020. It's her students practicing the cello. So we came up with this solution to open the garage door and play in the garage. When the coronavirus pandemic prompted shutdowns, Crockett resumed classes with her more than 30 students online. Good. When summer arrived, she wanted to get creative, welcoming back a handful of students who felt comfortable social distancing in the most unlikely of studios. Well ventilated, room to separate, and even tools nearby. This is by no means a repair studio. I draw the line at teaching. <laughs> Soon to be freshman, Sophia Spindler Craig leaped at the chance to see a friendly face. I feel like in person you can get a lot more input on um, tone and just how you're doing in general with your music. And one could argue it's more than just Crockett and the students who are benefiting from this in-person change as the music flows out onto the street. You know, we have lots of people who walk their dogs by the garage and kind of curiously peek in and wonder what's going on, but um, nobody's come in and visited yet. They're just getting a little bit of a free concert. <laughs> but to Crockett, it's about more than just the music. She hopes to work toward more in-person interaction as we face whatever the new normal is. There's such a benefit and a bonus to being able to play together and to share music in the same space. Uh, and some of that is definitely more challenging across the screens. For now, on this street, classical music is one of those normal neighborhood sounds. At least any time the garage door is open. Crockett says her students actually had a performance scheduled for a weekend in March when coronavirus shutdowns were really ramping up. She says that after getting familiar with lessons over Zoom, her students actually performed a concert for each other virtually later in the spring. We hope it isn't long until their next in-person performance.